Oh, I mean, he's <laughs> literally down there just having a blast, enjoying himself here at the Wasteland in Gwinnett. So we'll see if uh, Ice Effect can kind of cool down this, uh, <laughs> <laughs> this God. hot, this. <laughs> God, the terrible puns. Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> you got to throw a couple of them in there now and then. I mean, we really don't, but <laughs> why not? Somebody will appreciate it. To that one guy in the chat, you're welcome. All right, so here we go. Now, Ice Effect Lore is uh, he's pretty aggressive uh, when he gets in. He, he, he does let you know that he has frame advantage. And, and, well, you'll be eating buttons until you prove that you can't, you can peel them off. But with, with the way Milo was, especially in the last game, while we get out of the beach, nobody wants to see Tiffany and Hinata or anything. But <laughs> with the way Milo finished the last game, I wonder if Ice Effect is crazy enough to run into some DPs. Like, how many times will they be hit by that, and how much will that deter him, if at all? Yeah, because it's, it's, it's a double-edged sword. Like, as Lord, you got to be willing to eat a few yeah. to get what you want. Because if you, if you don't want to get hit by DPs, then you can't play your game either. Let's see, let's see how he starts out. Round one. Fight. So Milo's taking a more passive approach. Both players are. Ice Effects is kind of gradually moving him to the corner. Yeah, running a little meter as they go. OK. Go buttons. Now let's see, let's see, where, let's see how this changes his um, Ice Effects game plan. He moves very well. I agree. Gets in there, gets a the throw. And Didn't quite, quite miss his meaty there. Ooh. He, I don't blame him for doing that. I was going to say he didn't have to do that, mm -hmm. but I don't blame him because the only thing that Milo could have did in that scenario, like he, wow. Hit him with the ST. <laughs> but uh, I suspect must have been watching those earlier matches. I, I'm just amazed that somebody doesn't punish him for the first one. Yeah, it's, it's, it's not like, what? Negative one and something like it was in the older games. Yeah. Well, you had to actually respect that. Uh, it's not like a Serlin mix. <laughs> yeah. Oh. So I like what he's doing with the um, his projectile. He's stopping Milo's uh, neutral jump. Uh. I don't know. We say neutral jump, but like the first few times, or in one of the times that Milo got clipped in the first round, he actually tried to forward jump away from it. Ah, uh, yeah, that's true. Ooh, stop the run with the, <laughs> the fireball. Yeah, he's just kind of using it there to check his movement, which is doing just pretty effective. Try to walk in the corner of the Milo, fighting out again. Try to go all the way down. That could have that could have been the end of the round, actually. Oh, that could have been. Yeah, it happened. <laughs> yeah. But, I mean, he let the, the hard kick toss come down, so it's not punishable at that point. Just kind of... Let him run out his V-Trigger. Now he's kind of moving in on him. Oh. <laughs> nice. Good sweep. Counter poke against the crowd strong. Ice effect getting his first game. I, got, I really think the only way this works out for Milo is if, he, um, if he's not standing on top of ice effect, he can't be standing on a in a range where Ice Effect can put a, put a button on him, and that's that sounds simple. That sounds like a given, but I mean, let's be honest about something. As soon as Ice Effect got in and put something plus on him, like a crowd strong or mm -hmm. a stand forward or anything, and could put a thunderclap out there, that just tripped Milo up. Like, he, yeah, you see him running into him, you see him jumping into him. It's just I don't know what it is, but just having Ice Effect in his face. Even just in plus range, not just hitting him, but just plus range isn't a good look. And you see it right there. He's trying to keep the mid range. Good anti or elbow from Ice Effect. Can't get anything else from it as Milo backs him up. Ooh, nice movement. Yeah. Threading the needle a little bit, but it pays off. But going to that cross up, which is, uh, tr it's treated him well this whole set. Mm -hmm. All right, Milo trying to establish pressure, but uh, Ice Effect just says, nah, chill out. <laughs> You're gonna have to stop that, man. <laughs> oh, Ooh, good catch, good catch. And the thunder, but there's nothing really doing from that. Just a little bit of damage. Ooh, 
Double dash. Gets the command throw. Keep it, keeping them uh, confused and, uh, with the movement. Ooh. Wow. That was really bold. Just dashed in, low forward in his face to close out round one of game two. I think he's seeing some things about Milo that are paying off. Oh, yeah. I mean, if you're willing to just throw EX Thunderclap right in his face, you know, right in fierce range, there, you got to know something. Go to the V-Skill overhead. Ooh. Yeah, and he was looking for something. Lucky it was just a jab, though. Now, I think that's something he understands about Milo, is this is about the end. If he gets touched in any way, shape, form, or fashion. It seemed like, tw especially towards the end, every time Milo was waking up, he was doing something that didn't equate to blocking. I say not blocking, he was really pressing some kind of button. First time he gets up, he pressed a jab right there. Second yeah. time he woke up with Crouch Strong. And we've seen him go to double DP time and time again. So.